TikTok, formerly known as Musical.ly, is a video sharing app that allows users to create and post content, ranging from 15 to 60 seconds. Use of this app has skyrocketed over the last year, now hosting millions of content creators of every genre. Most TikTok videos include fun dances, memes, jokes, pranks, awareness tags, story times, and so much more. But one side of TikTok that is commonly skimmed over is the horror content. Whether or not the content was staged from a creative standpoint or actually occurred is irrelevant when you realize that some of these clips are downright terrifying, regardless of their origin. Number 5 TikTok user Kyle Wright 425 posted a video in January of 2019 to expose the paranormal activity that was going on at his place of work. He doesn't go into much detail in the first video, but he does explain that he works in an abandoned warehouse and in this particular instance, a light bulb had mysteriously been thrown to the ground between Kyle's shifts. He claims that he was the only person to frequently enter the building and he was certain that he was the only one present for the last several days. From here, the story went viral and Kyle began conducting amateur paranormal investigations which he recorded and shared to TikTok. There's not enough time to describe every clip that followed, but most of them featured Kyle yelling at the spirit and asking it questions, to which it apparently responded by banging on metal. Kyle established a system of communication where the entity would knock once for yes and twice for no. Using this system to perform several brief interactions, he eventually learned that the spirit identified as a demon. Kyle later started referring to the spirit as Bob, thus the hashtag Bob the Demon was born. Over the course of a year, Kyle uploaded numerous Bob the Demon videos, showing the friendly yet unsettling relationship that had grown between the two. He shared video footage of Bob destroying and throwing various items, and then EVP sessions that allegedly captured authentic proof that Bob was real. Kyle also came across another spirit, possibly haunting the halls of the warehouse, named Toby. Due to viewer backlash, Kyle searched the entire property while communicating with Bob, and found no homeless people or trespassers present that could have been knocking. Although nearly every Bob-related clip to hit Kyle's account is chilling in its own way, this clip is one of the most popular. Probably because the clip shows what Kyle claims is a physical manifestation of Bob the Demon, and it's nothing like what you'd expect. Uploaded on November 14th, 2019, the footage begins with Kyle walking by the end of each aisle and yelling at Bob, insisting that the spirit behave so that he can successfully clean the warehouse. Kyle yells, keep your dirty paws off of it, while facing an aisle when suddenly a strange shadowy apparition cuts through the frame. The movement happens in a split second, quickly vanishing from sight. The misshapen mass also emits a crackling noise while present. Kyle is still keeping his account up to date with Bob footage and EVP sessions, despite what skeptics have to say. Number 4 It's not uncommon for the internet to come up with all sort of creepy paranormal trends like the Charlie Charlie Challenge, One Man Hide and Seek, and the Momo Challenge. Skeptics will say that games like this aren't dangerous and present no real harm, but paranormal believers would argue that amateurs, especially teens and children, on the internet should not be performing these tasks which are essentially altered versions of old rituals. Playing some of these games could make the player more vulnerable to the spirit world and all of the dark horrors that exist within it. Still, you can't expect much restraint from the web when it comes to trends. Over the last year, TikTok users have been participating in what is referred to as the Mirror Challenge. In this game, users record a video using the sound file on TikTok of Gyaga's theme. The song is eerie, slow-paced, and even unsettling. While recording and listening, the user is instructed to stare into a mirror with a blank expression on their face. Rumors claim that the user's reflection will start to smile back at them when the song plays. For some users, this meant that they just couldn't stop themselves from smiling, but others reported that while the facial expression didn't change, the reflection did. One of the most popular uploads pertaining to this trend was shared by user I'm Justin Smith on December 4th, 2019. The video has over 4.8 million views because this one seems to be one of very few videos where the user sets their camera up in a way that can record both his face and the reflection in the same shot. Furthermore, this is considered one of the more compelling takes. In the 16 second clip, Justin stares into the mirror with the caption, I didn't think it actually worked. Around the 11 second mark, Justin's reflection shifts by flashing a smile, causing him to jump back in surprise and fear. 
Upon a closer look, you can see that when the reflection smiles, Justin's real face remains stoic. Although Justin never reported any paranormal activity following the game, some viewers have pointed out that by playing, he left himself open to the spirit world and could be in danger. Number 3 At first glance, this clip isn't very scary at all. It doesn't become troubling until you consider the possible hidden agendas surrounding the strange gift left on this user's car door handle. V. Brandon Robert is a popular TikTok content creator with over 2.9 million followers. Most of his videos are funny and lighthearted, making this rare gem even more baffling. The 30-second clip was posted on September 18, 2019, and has since scored around 706,000 views breaking it close to some of the most popular posts. This footage is simple enough. Brandon films himself approaching his car with the caption, I'm so freaked out. He explains that he went out to his car and noticed something hanging from the door handle. A closer look shows that several sticks or small vines have been bundled together and taped to the handle. Brandon then shares that the night before, his father informed him of a mysterious and sketchy man walking back and forth along the street. He was so unsettled by the man that he wouldn't let Brandon leave the house. Be that as it may, his father didn't claim to have seen the man approach the car, so it's unclear if this stranger had anything to do with this weird ornament. One theory that was shared by users is that the sticks are part of a magic or witchy satanic ritual, which the user is marked as a target in the spirit world or cursed. While that's a terrifying possibility and there's no way to confirm it's untrue, other theories present a more realistic story. These theories agree that the sticks are used to mark Brandon as a target, but in a much different way. They believe that this could be the work of gang members, human traffickers, or a slew of other criminals. Within this theory, there are various sub-theories, such as the following. One is that a mysterious man left the sticks to tip off other criminals that Brandon's home or car would be an easy target for robbery. Two is that Brandon was chosen as a potential human trafficking victim, and the sticks would be used to spot him next time he was alone. Or three, the sticks were placed there to serve as a distraction that Brandon would hopefully focus on them while attending to his car late at night. With his attention elsewhere, criminals would then attack, rob, or abduct him. Number 2 This spine-chilling 14-second clip was uploaded to TikTok on October 30th, 2019 by user the Tej 74 It's since garnered 4.9 million views, 713,000 likes, and 26,000 comments from both skeptics and believers sharing their own opinions. TJ began filming through his second story window to chronicle the absolutely shocking sound being blasted through his neighborhood. With a view of the dark street, the sound can immediately be heard in the distance. It's difficult to perfectly describe the sound, so listen for yourself. <laughs> A few viewer theories include that the sound was caused by one of the following. 1. Wild animals or cats. 2. A child screaming loudly for no reason. 3. A woman in immense pain. 4. A mentally unstable homeless person wandering the streets. Or 5. Something paranormal like a demon, a banshee, or Lyorna. TJ made a later video in which he showed his viewers a wooded area behind his house where he believes the sounds of a wild animal were heard. He still asserted though that he had not confirmed that speculation and that if it was in fact an animal, he had no idea what kind. So despite this confession, viewers argue that no animal would be able to produce that noise at such a high volume. This leaves the mystery open to debate. The truth may never be known, but the video itself is now a notorious example of the horror in real life. Number 1 Taniel King is a TikTok user that posted a short clip on December 15th, 2019, which later led to a real-life nightmare unfolding in front of her eyes. Before getting into the shower, as she explains in the video, Taniel started hearing movement coming from her attic. She described the sounds as footsteps walking in from one side of the room to the other. She postponed her shower due to the discomfort of the situation and called her stepdad. Apparently, he told her to take a look inside. In the second part of the short series, Taniel opens the door in the top of a closet and climbs a stepladder with a flashlight in hand. For a brief moment, she shines the light across the room to ensure that nothing is there to harm her. Simultaneously, she crawls further into the space and suddenly realizes that there's something near the opening. 
A pillow, a small blanket, and some food supplies and random Walmart bags surrounded the entrance. It's easy to assume that this meant someone was living in the attic, unbeknownst to Taniel and her family. She shines her light around once more and calls out to whoever it may be. No one responds and there seems to be no active movement. Most likely in a state of shock and filled with fear, Taniel exits the attic and ends the video. In the third video of the series, Taniel sits in her parked car and does the best to explain the aftermath of her discovery. She explains that after taking the video and leaving the house, her family called the cops. Upon the arrival, they luckily spotted the male suspect trying to climb back into the attic on the roof of the house. Taniel provides limited information, but makes it clear that the freeloader was arrested. As she struggled to share her experience and fight back the tears filling her eyes, she mentioned that perhaps the most unsettling fact of the whole ordeal is that the stranger could have been watching her and her family the entire time that they were there. Furthermore, it was terrifying to think back on all the times that she was home alone and could have been the victim of a crime while minding her own business. The fourth installment of the series simply shows messages Tanya received after the first two videos. These messages include screenshots taken from the attic footage, with some people believing that they show blurry shots of the person lurking under the beams. While each screenshot does show something odd, it's impossible to confirm that this is the image of a squatter. Taniel hasn't given much of an update in the few short weeks following the traumatic discovery, but we hope that she's safe and nothing like this ever happens again. Keep in mind that this is not the first time a stranger was found living in someone's attic. So take it as a warning to always check the empty spaces of your home and possibly invest in security equipment. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads.